Hey guys, I wanted to show you how I'm doing the single player level logic in Rocket Fist. I upgraded the Rocket Fist level editor to include some stuff for the single player. So I'm just gonna make here a quick level so I can show you guys. I added a new dynamic section here with dynamic objects. So I have the looping doors, I have the button, conveyor belts. So the new thing here is the button. So I'm gonna drop some buttons in here and I'm gonna drop this raised walls, okay? So what I can do now is I have this new section, the blocks here, that I can set some connections. So this button on press is gonna to toggle this. Let's say this button on hold is gonna activate this. Uh, this will start on, this one is gonna start off. I'm gonna drop in here, spawn point, and let's play. So you see this one starts off, it went underground. When I press this, it goes up. When I leave, it goes down. Let me change the camera view a little bit so you guys can see it better. Okay. Play. And over here, if I press, it's gonna go down. If I press again, it goes up on toggle. Uh, another thing I can do is actually have uh, multiple buttons controlling the same thing. So if this is, those are both toggle, this one I can say toggle if any of those are pressed or only if all. If all, like all the players are, like all the buttons are gonna be, have to be pressed at the same time. I don't know if multiple players or if it's a box or something. So this toggles and this also toggles. All right, uh, another thing that I did is let's say I have some enemy spawners here and let's also put here a dynamic terminal. Actually, I just want one of those. Yeah, I'll actually put him over here. So I made this level action sequencer and I can actually do gameplay logic in here. So let's say I'll wait for seconds, I'll wait for one second after the game is started. I'm going to show dialogue. I can actually rearrange those. I'm going to show dialogue that's going to wait for for active. So you're going to see what this is going to do. Hi, are Unity 3D? And I'm going to say wait for active. Uh, I want to wait until this wall is raised. So until this button is pressed and hold, the wall is going to raise and it's going to toggle. I could say like, oh, do a duration time, but I want to this chat to be in shown until this thing is active. Uh, after that happens, I'm going to spawn some enemies and I want to spawn from those spawn points or yeah, all the spawn points or whatever. Uh, I want to spawn an enemy Chug Chugger. Right now I only have him and Uncle Knuckles, so let's just spawn Chug Chugger. I want a minimum of two and a maximum of four. So we'll see how many we're going to spawn. And the spawn interval of 0, 3 and no delay. Just whenever that's active, I want instantly enemies to spawn. All right, so next up, I want the, to wait for the enemies to be killed. Yeah. So let's try that. I'm also going to put a trap door on the level. That's what I'm using for uh, going to the next level. The little trap doors over there. And let's try this level. Press play. I'm waiting for seconds. I'm still waiting for a second. Okay, that did not work. Why is it always which? Oh, I forgot to say I want this terminal to be sh to show the dialog. Otherwise, he doesn't know where I want the dialog to go. So it was waiting for active. Hi, are you Unity 3D? It's waiting for active right now. That's what was happening. It was waiting for me to do this. Then I'm in spawn. Boom. So yeah, as you can see, I can actually do level level uh, logic in here, now in the level editor. So, yeah. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you have any questions about this, feel free to leave in this Reddit topic or on the video or wherever. And yeah, awesome.